about going through the motions and why that sucks. Okay, so a lot of a lot of my life life lessons I have learned through training and running. That's mostly why I train these days is because I want to embed into my psyche the lessons that I want to have in my mindset. I use training to like put that physically into my body, into my mind. And one lesson that I have learned many, many, many times, whether it's running or lifting, is that if I'm just going through the motions, it's super freaking boring and it sucks. And I see this all the time in the gym. I would say most people that I see in the gym are going through the motions. And guess what happens? It's boring. Who's had a workout like that? I know I have. I'm guilty of it sometimes. I'm just like, do, 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 do. And it's not until I get laser focused and super in the moment and I am like all out pushing myself. It sucks a little bit. It's hard. It's almost scary, but it's so much more fun, right? And you get done and you're like, oh my gosh, right? And it's the same thing with our lives. So Tony Robbins talks about basic human needs. One of our basic human needs is growth, progress. So what happens? Who's been in a phase of their life? Maybe you're in one right now where you're just going through the motions. You're showing up at work. You're doing the same thing in your family life. It's just like Groundhog Day. It sucks, huh? It sucks the freaking soul out of you. It's so boring because we're not getting one of our basic human needs met and that is growth. And so it doesn't mean, in my opinion, it's, it doesn't mean you need to like run around like a chicken with your head cut off and be seeking growth. It means you need to actually pause and sit and meditate and think and uh, not even think actually just create pause and see what comes in that's why I love meditating because what comes in is honestly the solution to all of my issues but it helps me see what's in my heart what's in my soul and then I can go create it from that pause moment so in our lives, like if you're if you're in that spot, I've had this conversation with a couple people in the last couple of days, so that's why it's on my mind. It's just like I feel like I'm going through the motions, like I feel like I have no purpose, like what am I even doing this for? Maybe you chased money, maybe you were in scarcity mindset of like, well, this is what I can do, and you're too scared to like go after it, what you really want to do, what's in your heart. <laughs> I like to tell my clients, I'm like, your dreams are so small. <laughs> I'm like, Elon Musk already put a space car in, a, a sports car in space, okay? He already did that like a while ago. I guarantee you're not trying to put a sports car in space. So whatever your dream is, whether, you know, sometimes I see limiting thoughts of people are like, I want to be a health coach, but uh, I'm like, why can't you be a health coach? <laughs> what's, what's, where's the limiting factor there? Go do some work on that. But like, we need progress and that progress comes through intention focused and what what am I doing I just posted today about does this bring me joy is what you're doing in your life right dang it, it keeps disconnecting but if what you're doing in your life right now is not bringing you joy take a look allow that feel that and then asking yourself what do I want this is a this is um like the second question I believe I ask my clients and hire in the personal development program what do you want I can't believe how many people don't know the answer to that question and even at the end of a long conversation they don't know anything in their lives that they want anything how sad is it that we don't ask ourselves that we get in this mindset of like well I mean I could, I guess I could do that it's not about that it's not about you just being useful I can do all sorts of things I'm sure I can be a really great car wash person <laughs> okay but what do I want what lights me up what brings me joy and be willing get out of your comfort zone and do something a little scary and go for it. It's just like training. If I'm just going through the motions, yeah, I can do 15 reps of a bicep curl with 15 pounds. I freaking know that. I can do it with zero intention. I can be talking to a friend. It's boring. It sucks because I'm not growing. I'm not feeling that basic need. But when I shut down everything, close my eyes, I'm like, dude, I can do more than this. And I squeeze from the inside out and I've got all that focus and it freaking sucks. I just did single leg uh, uh, what are they called? Um, Bulgarian split squats. Oh my gosh, I was doing like a drop set of 30 reps with isometric holds in between. It was so intense. But guess what? Even though it sucked, it was fun. If I had just like done 10 boring reps that were easy, it would have sucked. So don't be afraid to like push into outside of your comfort zone, push into that discomfort a little bit because it actually makes your life so much more fun. And when it's serving something that you really want, that you're passionate about, because like me doing that today is making me stronger for this goal I have to qualify for New York again, right? So it's like, mm, lights you up. So that's all. If you're going
going through the motions, you're not growing. And you will get bored, and you will get sad, and you will get depressed because you're not meeting one of your basic human needs for growth and progress. So anyway, that's my message today. Think about it. What do you want? A great place to start is what did you like doing as a little kid? If you're not doing any of that in any way in your life right now, that's a great place to start. As a little kid, I like digging in the dirt. I like playing outside. I like exploring in the woods. So guess what I do now as an adult? That. And you know what? Now that's trickled into my business because I'm starting retreats. So I can go do that more in my life with other people. I am also very extroverted and love being around other people and helping them get past their blocks and seeing their strength. And so I'm pulling that all in into my business, right? So it's outside of my comfort zone. I don't know how to run retreats. I've never run retreats before. So I hire people who do. And I'm just pushing into it. <laughs> right? And it lights me up and brings me joy because it's what I want and it's it's growth. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's like it lights me up. And so if you don't have anything like that in your life right now, start thinking about what do you actually love doing. Hello from Hungary. Thanks for joining me. Um, what, what brings you joy? And how can you put that more in your life? And how can you push a little outside of your comfort zone in that area? You know? It lights you up. Don't be doing that nine to five. I hate my life. Don't. You're a victim of your life. No, you're not. You're choosing everything. You're not a victim of anything in your life. You're saying yes to all of it. So it's like, if you don't like it, change it. Right? So start leaning into joy. And, you know, you don't have to quit your job right now. I don't really recommend that. But start thinking, what do I want? There's a something I do with my clients. Um, I actually learned, learned this from my friend Sean Wells. Um, and it's a Japanese concept called Ikigai. Look it up. I-K-I-G-A-I. -I. Look it up. Do it. It's a little, it's four little circles. What do I love? What am I good at? What does the world need? And what can I be paid for? When you can integrate your vocation with what you love. Oh, shit. <laughs> now you're living in your purpose. And that's what Ikigai is. And it's super fun. And that's what you guys see me doing. Sometimes people are like, you're so lucky you get to do this for a living. I'm like, I'm not lucky. I started with a bankruptcy, no car, nowhere to live, and $17 to my name. So if I can do it, you can do it. Okay? I'm not lucky. I just made it. I just created it. And you can too. You can create a life for yourself that brings you joy. So don't forget that. Don't be afraid to push outside of your comfort zone a little bit. It's where all the passion is, all the excitement, all the fun. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have a great day.